Hey folks, how are you doing? Sorry, I mean to take those off. It has been a while and I'm really sorry for that. Uh, well, you know, actually, I'm not really sorry for that. It's been a while. Um, I've been taking a bit of a YouTube break. Um, well deserved. This is the second time I've recorded a video since I stopped posting. Um, the other one didn't get posted because uh, I just didn't get a chance to edit it. Um, I've come up with this solution here. This is a, uh, a this is a GoPro mount that goes around your neck. Um, one of the problems that I had with filming was that when you wear a bicycle harness, or sorry, a, a GoPro harness, uh, and it's hot out, it's so uncomfortable. So I had to find a solution. Oh goddamn! I'm getting an order offer from Neginori Camden on a 1.2. Hold on, let me just accept that. All right. I've just accepted an order from Negi Nori Camden. No idea where it's going. Didn't get a chance to see because I was too busy filming this. I will go. Everything's ready. I am back on the wow bike right now. And uh, I'm back on the wow bike. Here, wait, let me just turn this around. There's the wow bike. I'm back on the wow bike. Um, for the last month and a half, almost two months, I've been riding my normal pedal bike. I'm trying to get in shape for a big bike trip uh, with my good friend. And uh, I need to be able to, you, you know, carry heavy loads up mountainsides or whatever. Anyway, also, I'm telling you that I'm back on the wow bike because wow bike may very well have redeemed itself. Whoa! I did not see that coming. Um, more about that later. I better go pick up Negi Negi because I value my customers just like it seems like wow bike might be starting to do. Oh, oh my god, god, I can't god. believe it! Which is unexpected and uh, actually quite delightful. Anyway, wish me luck, and I will see you later. I'm Lana, a 50... Oh, hold on, there's another order coming through. Which one is better? I think that one looks better. I'm Lana, a 50-something Canadian living and working in London, England. I deliver for Uber Eats, Deliveroo, Stewart, and more. And among my other jobs, I'm a Soto Zen Buddhist priest. I'm also called a nun, which of course makes me the nun on the run. Okay, guys, um, just to let you know, I, I actually had an Uber Eats trip at a 1.2 from Neginori, which was just down the way. I had no idea where it was going to. What I did get instead, which is why I cancelled it, was I've just got a, a short local pickup from, of all places, through Stuart, Pets at Home. And Pets at Home, um, and it's not, it's not a long delivery, but it's worth five quid. There we go. Gosh, that's not big. I, I imagine I'd be taking like, a dog bed. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, what if it's like one of those or something? Hello, hi, is it Emily? Yeah. Fantastic. There you go. And I'll just take a quick photo of that if that's all right. There we go. I won't get your face. Hold on. And oh, got it. Thank you. You have a great day. Deet something House of Turkish. Going out that way. Well, that sounds like a good deal to me. Let's grab I'm that. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing you guys until a time I'm scared. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have a good afternoon. I'm gonna let the sun shine in. Oh, you know, can see tell you, I'm hungry now too after carrying oh, on. Have a really good day, thank so you. Oh, when the darkness starts to fade, feels like things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. <laughs> Look, it's another wild bike. I'm gonna let the good, past so be filled with smoke. I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know, yeah, 
Thank you so much. Um, so basically, the long and the short of it is, I will put up with all sorts of teething issues or or product problems if I if I get great customer service that deal with it in a professional, kind, nice, fair manner. And that was not my experience with Wow. And so um, after after an issue dealing with this. Blah, 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 blah. You know the story, and if you don't, please just go see the video that's linked up there in the card. Um, I'm not gonna go through it again because there's really no point. Oh, wasabi. Up to Shearing Way. i accept that. And then what happened was recently, recently, things started to change. Bizarrely, six months later, things started to change, and I'm going to tell you about those things after, as I as I go towards this, towards uh, wasabi. So let me tell you about those things that started to change. I um had written a very detailed trust pilot review, basically outlining that I no longer trusted them, <laughs> and in detail why. And uh, that, that was written six months ago. Again, that was written in December when uh, the supercharger incident happened. And uh, about a week ago, I received uh, a response to that review from Wildbike saying that they really believed that they had changed their ways and they were really sorry about my experience. But I read some more trust pilot reviews that seemed to suggest that that was in fact the case that people were happy with customer service and i'm like no really well we'll see about three days ago i received a an email from wow asking me to fill out a customer satisfaction survey and inviting me to be brutally honest so i filled it out the next Two days after I filled it out, yesterday in fact, yesterday I um, I received a response from Todd, lovely Todd from Wild Bike, who seemed to have really read my review. He thanked me for my review. He said that's exactly what I was hoping for. We have completely revamped the customer service team. And and we are now really focusing on customer satisfaction. And I was, I was like, all right, well, I'll tell you the rest. And I told him the rest. What did I get this morning? Suddenly I get a notification from my bank saying that I've been refunded from WOW, the 51 pounds 
that I'd spent on the supercharger in December. So Wild Bike not only have sent me a lot of really nice emails, making me feel respected, heard, and valued as a customer, um, but they put their money where their mouth is and they refunded me some money, which I am still blown away by. And the fob is behind me, sorry. I'm used to going to Leon here. I'm absolutely blown away. And so that is why I will now, once again, happily um, recommend the beautiful wild bike because my only problem with it before was that the customer service was shite and now it seems like customer service is no longer shite Alright you guys, I am, uh, I've accepted an order from Cake. 
for the first time in forever. It's been four weeks since you called, and I've been waiting here for you all along. I've been waiting here for you all along. Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for. Wonder if you found what you're looking for. I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me. We never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me. Say that you won't go. I can't cope without you, and I wanna hold you close. Say that you won't go. Say that you won't go. Thank you for coming out. There's literally nowhere to walk my bike around here. <laughs> Thank you so it's much. So cold. Cheers. Without you here, we barely said goodbye before you disappeared. Hey guys, it is me again. I am back. So look, um, I don't know how much of that you watched. Um, I watched all of it. Uh, I had a front front row seat. But uh, anyway, I am officially, as of today, moving Wild Bike away from the naughty list and on to the nice list so uh, I just, I'm just i just really impressed I'm going to send them an email and tell them I didn't get a chance because I was working when I received it I don't know what I made today either and I even don't know how long I was out for all I know is that I'm tired um, I suspect I was out for about 5 or 6 hours I'm sure I'm going to write it here somewhere and I'm going to tell you how much I made as well because I haven't even looked but uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I was pretty busy so I'm pretty sure I made more than 10 or 11 pounds an hour Anyway, that's all she wrote for today. I'm going to go upstairs and have some sleep. If you enjoyed this video, and as usual, even if you didn't, I would really appreciate it if you'd give me a great big thumbs up right down there. And uh, there's a subscribe button right next to that. If you could subscribe, turn on notifications. Leave me some comments down below. Have you had any experience with Wild Bike? Have you had any recent experience? And if you have, have you noticed them improve? Because I tell you... They sure seem to have improved. Um, and, uh, well, you can tell I'm tired because my eyes start going crazy. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks a lot, guys. And I will catch you next time. Hopefully it won't be so long next time.